What's up, y'all? It's your man, C. Mill, C from the D. Coming at you with everything that's real. How y'all doing today, man? How y'all doing? Um, <clears throat> today is, uh, it's a wonderful day. It's super hot out, <laughs> which we thank the good Lord for. And having a dove for. Uh, but, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, today, I would like to talk to you about do spirits help you, hurt you, or haunt you? Do spirits help you, hurt you, or haunt you? Um, <clears throat> a lot of people been, you know, questioning me or inquiring with me to do something on that and speak on it. And, um, crazy part of it all is is yes for all three <clears throat> spirits can help, help help you spirits can hurt you and they can hunt you uh, it all depends on like you know what I'm saying your, con your connection with the almighty your connection with the holy spirit your connection with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and um, your connection with yourself you know what I'm saying and your spirituality you know what I'm saying if you have a mature spirituality um, your outcome might be different from others but other but other people who haven't grown mature haven't maturely grown spiritually they're in a lot of trouble. Or if they haven't grown at all, just mentally, they're in a lot of trouble. With understanding things, with understanding the right way to to carry things out, or to go through a different uh, go or to go through a situation. Uh, if you, you haven't matured, then you're in a lot of trouble. Period. <clears throat> um. You can do things also to get bad spirits on you, yourself. But dealing with somebody like a toxic person or a narcissist, they will like try to do voodoo, or witchcraft, or Hinduism, or you know what I'm saying? Any, anything of that nature to try to cast a spell where the spirits will haunt you. Uh, uh. That's a bad do, you know what I'm saying? Um, it could be a person that doesn't even know you to try to put a hex on you just because they, they're practicing their voodoo or their witchcraft. And then the, the next person that come in wearing red, you know, you come in wearing red, you know, they're trying to put a spell on you, you know. But you can't mess with guys annoying it. You can't mess with the real children of God that's really standing up and sticking their chest out and saying that I'm saved. I'm a child of God and I've given my life to him. <clears throat> and, and and with a strong effort trying not to do the things that they used to do. Um, everything to me is on the grading system. You know, like... Remember the lady in the Bible when she uh, she died, and then um, her, then a little while after she died, her son died, and she begged God to let him into heaven, and uh, God let him in on her on her merit and her loyalty and her love. So God let him in. So you know it's got to be a point system. I'm I'm guessing. Don't quote me on it. You know what I'm saying? As far as like being solid, but it's got to be some type of point. So he must have been not too bad, but a little shy of a few points and God just let him in. Or, you know, I don't know. You know, that's how I'm guessing because um, the book of life is going to record everything that you said and done in there. And come to find out, you're going to have to answer for everything you've said and done. Um, your intentions, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you got a lot of stuff to answer for on Judgment Day. Excuse me, including myself. But, um, yeah, spirits can definitely, you know, get involved with you through voodoo, witchcraft, Hinduism, even, even things that you do yourself or say, you know, against yourself while you're talking to yourself. You can put curses on yourself. So you have to be very, very much excuse me, watching the type of music that you listen to because you can be cursing yourself through that or the songwriter could be cursing you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to watch what you listen to, watch who you be around, watch the movies that you watch, you know, like, I don't go for too too demonic, you know what I'm saying? I don't mess with that spiritual demonic stuff. I usually stay with, like, maybe some action, you know, some drama, or some sci-fi or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going into all that uh, spiritually demonic stuff. I'm not doing that. Because they be chanting and stuff and doing all the crazy stuff on some of those movies and stuff. And you don't know if you if <clears throat> you inviting spirits into your house or what. But you got to watch all of that. But yes, 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 and yes. Spirits can, you can, uh, spirits can hurt you. And they can help you. And they can haunt you. You know what I'm saying? Because we know that because God sends angels to help us. He sends the Holy Spirit to help us, you know what I'm saying? So, um, angels will, spirits will come help you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, the haunting, the haunting part, like, I don't know, it's certain things in certain books that say if you do this and do that, you'll be haunted until the end of time, or you'll walk the earth to the end of time, or you'll be, you know, spirits be messing with you until you're, until you're in, or... Spirits might mess with you to your end, and you might pass them down to your children. So, it's certain things. Now, this too, it's certain things that our ancestors have done, making deals with uh, demonic spirits and entities. So, those generational curses might still be applicable to you to this day. So, you have to pray against, um, pray against generational curses always. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what our our slave ancestors, what type of deals they made with some of those demons and stuff. Because believe you me, it was a lot of it going on. You know, because you got to remember, uh, witchcraft and spells and all that, that was big, like in the 1800s all the way up to now. And they'd be real big, and then they'd die off and come back in, be real big and die off and come back in. But a lot of people was involved, even in the Christian church. Catholic Church, everybody was involved with witchcraft at the time, you know what I'm saying, it was popular, um, it was a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, then you had the, uh, the uh, palm reader ladies, and the, uh, you know, you know, the ladies down, uh, what was they called, gypsies and stuff, you know, they were quite popular, but yeah, it's, you know, then they got all these things where they can conjure up spirits and talk to the dead and all that stuff, so I'm, I don't, particularly mess with that stuff i don't encourage you to do it uh the bible says that you can't talk to the dead so i wouldn't really mess with that one you know what i'm saying he also tells you in the bible not to mess with witchcraft and uh doing spells so i wouldn't really want to mess with that either you know all these candle light stores popping up everywhere i would leave that alone you know um but yeah, the only spirit you want to really mess with is the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, you know, seven spirits of God, that mean anything else. All I'm thinking is progress, success, you know what I'm saying, uh, abundance, you know what I'm saying, has the protection of God, being around uh, myself, my family, my kids, my wife or girlfriend or whatever, you know, like, I wouldn't mess with too many, um, negative entities or spirits or if it's not from God I really wouldn't mess with it that's just my take because I mean that's you know all that stuff is like got yeah, like a lot of bad things attached to it you don't want to really mess with that stuff but yeah that's it's, it's a lot of spirits <clears throat> um it's a very touchy subject because 
So you got different entities from different dimensions and different worlds and different, you know, from, you know, that's evil and that's from the sun that's good and, you know what I'm saying, the sun that stand up and abide by the laws of God and others that they just don't. So they will trick you. And then once they get invited into your home and, you know what I'm saying, and give you asking the spirit to do this. Now when you're doing voodoo, you have to, you are, it's an exchange. So they going to do you a favor, you got to do them a favor. So the favor that you usually owe them is they're allowed to be in your presence, you know what I'm saying, and tinker with your family and yourself. So don't, that's not something, that's not a good exchange, you know what I'm saying. So leave all that stuff alone. Spirits can help you. Spirits can hurt you. haunt you so all that stuff is real tricky man so try to leave that alone try to just pray for god's hands protection around you in the name of jesus christ in the name of the father son and the holy spirit um and try to walk and live a good life don't just lie about ministry things don't lie about big things try not to lie period um you don't need three or four girlfriends you don't need three or four boyfriends Get rid of that. Get you one person. Especially if you're around, like, anything over 30, 35. You should be trying to get married. <laughs> Sit down. You got to live. You have to live a good life, man. You have to watch your language. You have to watch your behavior. How you move out here. You know, all that stuff. You have to watch all of that. And try to be, be uh, live a clean existence, man. You know, like, you can't go out here willy-nilly on everybody and do all the snake stuff behind people's back and talk about people and all that and think, you know, you're in good status with God. You know what I'm saying? So, it don't work like that. So, try to clean up your act <laughs> and get things done right. Like, in the name of Jesus Christ, live a better life. It's just better for you, period. In the name of Jesus Christ, it's just better for you, for real, for real. Um, so, I appreciate y'all tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Say your prayers. Get on your workout. Summertime is here. Enjoy your family and your friends. Enjoy your God. And enjoy those blessings that he showered down upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, man. Until the next one, y'all have a blessed one. It's your man, C. Man, C. From the D. Peace.